it's time for another haul. This one is an Avon haul, which it's been a while since I've done one of those. I actually have a bunch of hauls that I need to record. There's this one. I still have a Twinings haul that I never got around to unboxing for you guys from, like, October that I've been making a point of not tearing into until I record that. I'll be having a Bath and Body Works one coming up very soon, uh, which will be ridiculously huge because it's uh, semi-annual sale time and we all know I have zero willpower and actually it didn't even cost that much for how much stuff's in it. And technically it's collectively two hauls that I'm morphing into one video for that one. Um, do I have anything else? I'm trying to think. I think there might be at least one more. I'm trying to think of what that might be. I mean, I'm staring at a big box right now, but from where I'm sitting, I'm uncertain of what all's in that one, so that may or may not be haul-worthy. I don't know, but there is definitely at least a few things that I need to haul for you guys, and we all know it'll take me no time to be doing another Joanne's haul. I mean, I've done the one for this month, so, you know, it's only a few days till the new month, so we all know I'll be picking out my newer craft supplies for the month, and yeah, but anyway, today we're doing Avon. So, honestly, I don't even remember everything that I bought, so this is gonna be half as much a surprise to me as it is to you guys, because I shopped on, I want to say Black Friday, and that was when I was still sick, so I'm like, oh, that I was very easy to part with my money that day, and yeah, I'm just now getting around to it, so gonna get right into it. So I'm just gonna grab things at random from the box. And first things first, we have a little jewelry box. What is it? A Spring Fling White Stretch Bracelet. So, I think I remember what this one is. Oop, what is that? That's uh, just the cleaning instructions. Figures, now I have these boxes. I could have used this when I sent Carrie her, her Christmas ornament. Oh well, I'll hold on to them for another time. Uh, I get my CS or something else. Be super duper careful so I don't accidentally cut through the bracelet because that would suck. Okay. Ah. Oh, I hope I didn't just jack up my nail because I think that hand is still wet. I think it's more or less okay. Hold on, smoothing out the very, very, very tippy tears. Okay, close enough. I'll put on another layer of top coat if need be. Ooh, oh, that looks even cooler in person than it did on the website. So on the website, it showed from this angle and I couldn't tell if they were clear, or if they were white. Apparently it's both, but then there's also these square beads on this side. That's trippy as hell, and it's a stretch bracelet too to boot, so... Oh my goodness. I think my favorite are these here, though. But oh my gosh, that is so cool. Yay! So there's that one. Where's the lid? There we go. Um, and I don't know where the cleaning instructions in it, so I'm just gonna stick that box there. Then we have the same one in royal blue because you know me, I have to have all the things in all the colors when I can afford to do it. And these were cheap, so why the hell not? I mean, I'm sure within a week it'll be driving my OCD nuts that they don't match all the way around, but because I have multiples of them, maybe that will make them seem more uniform to me being that way. Ooh. Okay, I'm not sure which side is my favorite in this one, but ooh. Yeah, and it matches my newly done nails, which I know the, the edges are still messy as hell, but looky, looky, here's the translucent ones. Here's the square ones, and here's the solid ones. So there's that guy. And then... Same one again in deep coral. 
I told you, I had no willpower, and I was sick and easy to part from my money. And it was Black Friday, and I had coupons on top of that, and then Ebates on top of that, so, you know, as you do. Okay, that's basically red. That's not the, well, I guess deep coral. Alright, that's like red-orange, guys, like... Am I wrong? That's red-orange. But it still looks cool. There's that side. And there's that side. You know, if I put them all on one wrist, it would look very patriotic indeed. And just like that, I've already planned out what I'll wear on the 4th of July, probably. You know, if I remember by July that these were a thing I have. This color combo, for some reason, makes me think of my Nana, because she wore this color combo a lot. It looks very nice, and yeah, especially with the navy, that really just, like, clicks it up that last little bit into totally reminding me of her, so. And, I mean, it was already gonna remind me of her anyway, because she was an Avon lady, so. Okay, same one again, in mint. You guys are probably like, Jen, what the crap? Don't care. Don't judge me. I don't judge you on how you spend your money. What? I honestly didn't spend very much because these were in the outlet section, which is basically code for clearance. So yeah. Ooh, okay. New favorite, new favorite. This one. It looks like jade, which is my favorite stone. Oh my goodness, look at it. Look at it. Guys. Oh my god. Okay. That was probably what sold me, was this guy right here. And then I probably figured, well, if I'm getting that, I may as well get the others. There's actually one more. <laughs> Shut up, don't even judge me. This one's purple. Gotta have all the colors so you can color coordinate all the things. Duh. So <laughs> ooh, I see it already. Ooh, 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 ooh. And this almost looks a little bit like amethyst, especially on that side. Kind of here, totally here, obviously not there. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretties. Look at all my pretties. I like the pretties. Okay. So there's those. But that is not where the jewelry ends. I then got Power of Energy stretch bracelets, which, okay, girls of the 90s and early 2000s are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like those, the chakra bracelets on steroids. They, like, picked it up. Unfortunately, I couldn't get all of these because they only had three left in the stock, so I was only able to get brown, green, and pink. There was apparently also blue and purple, so that makes me sad that I couldn't get the blue or the purple. But I was able to get the other three, so some is better than none. So this brown one is for stability, which lord knows I need plenty of that. The blue is for peace. That's appropriate. That my favorite color is blue, and that's for peace. Uh, purple is balance. Green is healing. Brown is stability. Pink is calming. Well, I suppose if I could only have three, those are probably a good three for me to have. So, here's what it looks like. Now, do you guys remember the chakra bracelets? It was basically these little round beads in different stones. They didn't have these, obviously, but... Yeah, it very much reminds me of those, but blinged up a bit. La. Eh, it doesn't really go with the others, so that's okay. I'm not planning on wearing all of these at the same time, but just for the sake of this video, I'm probably gonna leave them on. So here comes the pink one. Okay. Ooh, it looks like rose quartz. This is the calming one. Boop. There we go. Does it have a little 
No, nothing on the back. And then finally the green one. Which, again, is what sold me on these. Because it looks like jade. See, most girls lose their shit over diamonds. I lose my shit over jade, personally. Thankfully, it's much more affordable than diamonds. This isn't even real jade. This is, like, probably plastic in reality. But it looks like jade, so, I mean, I'm not picky. I wear costume jewelry. I don't care if it's not real. All together. Actually, I'm not going to lie. That does kind of look cool all together like that. But no, I'm not going to wear them all together all the time. Maybe sometimes. So I think that's it for the jewelry. And because I'm me, you know, I had to get lip balms. Wait, am I missing one? I better not be missing one because I think they're sold out now. No, I'm not. Okay, cool. So first... This is just the regular moisture therapy that they put out all the time, but like every year, they um... Oh, it's not the calendar one! Aww! Okay, well I guess they just did a New Year's edition with fireworks. I thought it had the calendar on it and for old times sake, because my Nana always had them every freaking year, to where we still have, like, still sealed ones from the 90s, because <laughs> there was just such a surplus of them. Just for old time's sake, I was going to get one of those, and I thought this was that, and apparently it's not, but that's okay, I'll use it anyway. And then, you know me, I gotta get the Christmas set, so the four flavors they had this year are buttercream, marshmallow frosting, sugar cookie, and... Candy cane. Ooh, this one, I, th I think this one's my favorite in terms of the packaging. It looks like a little zebra. So I'm going to put these over here so I remember to review them in a somewhat timely manner. And then, what is this? Ooh, I forgot that I got eyeshadow. This is from Mark, and it's Mod Pop, which that is exactly why I bought it, was because of the name. Um... Now this is a pop of color. Be bold, be daring, let that color pop. Twelve rich matte and shimmer shades in a limited edition compact. Let these fun flirty shades inspire you to push limits. Oh. I'm dumb. I'm so <laughs> I'm so used to the little jewelry boxes. Now I was trying to shove it through and then oh, that's not how it opens. I'm just dumb. Okay. Can we uh open this without tearing it to shreds? No. We're just gonna jack up my nails? Well screw it. In that case, scissors to the rescue. I'm gonna try and not cut it. I'm gonna try and just wedge it under and pop it open. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's cute. The compact even looks like the box, which means I don't have to keep the box, but oh my god, that's adorable. That is so freaking cute. Oh, I like that. Okay. So how do we open this? I think I see a button. I'm trying not to have a repeat of that one Ipsy video. Oh my goodness. It does not want to open. And my nails are still... Okay. Got it. So. These colors are definitely not as vibrant as they looked on the website. But that is okay because mostly I wanted it for colors that I did not have yet, and oh my god, I totally just gouged this frigging nail. I'm so mad at myself. But, um, but yeah, look at these colors. Mostly the pinks. I only have, like, really, really, really pale baby pinks. So these rosier and more orchidy tones did not have. And the other ones just seemed like useful colors. There's a black, there's a sea green, a uh, kind of grayish green, um, light gray, shimmery cream, almost white, sky blue, coral, I think, like, kind of, sort of. Hopefully I didn't, like, show you my trash-ass room while I was showing you guys the colors. Yeah, I don't think that really showed too much. Yeah, I think we're all right. So, um, I'll have to view that back in the footage and potentially edit some stuff out if I did, but... Yeah, those are the colors. 
than that, which I'm in love with, even if it did jack up my friggin' nail. But I'm gonna try and save it later, so I think it'll be okay. And then I got a little, little compact. This is the Mark Havana Soul, S-O-L, Eye Contact Hookup Eyeshadow. It's got nine shades of blue in it, which some of you are probably cringing so hard and going, oh my god, blue is like the worst color. You're gonna look like you're straight out of the 80s. Bitch, please, I was born in the 80s. If anybody's allowed to look like they're from the 80s, it's somebody who lived them, so. Okay. It's all in how you go about wearing it anyway. And frankly, I don't really give a care what people think of it, so. Okay, so this one, much simpler, kind of interesting looking. Ah, uh, okay. And then this guy, ooh. I would love to know. Oh, okay, so. There's like a little plastic thing over the mirror, because I was like, who got fingerprints on this? This was sealed, I thought, but. Okay, so this one. These are the colors we got. So, we've got like a shimmery cream, kind of a beige, um, a taupe, two different shades of silvery blue, sea green again, sky blue, dark blue, periwinkle. Those are the colors, so I'm like, ooh. All of those appeal to me. Lots of things you can do with those. And then I think we're down to the last few items here. And these are all lotions. Because you know I can't buy anything from Avon without hitting up the Avon Senses lotions. And actually these are usually what bring me to the website in the first place to put in order. Is usually because I see some of these for sale that I don't have yet. So this one is Frosted Winterberry. Now, on the cover here, they're showing like an orange zest, and I can't tell what kind of berries those are. They're red. They're just red. <laughs> they're not raspberries. I thought they were at first. Let's see. Oh, it says on the back. I'm stupid. So, <laughs> festive red currants dance with zesty orange peels accented by frosted blackberries to make this fruity fragrance a winter favorite. Okay. I don't know what to expect, but we're gonna find out. Wait, 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 wait. Got but the nails. So we will go stubbity, 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 stubbity. Ah, there we go. Oh, and free lotion. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, let me just. Oh, uh, I just lotion fied the bottle. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Just trying to carefully get it off the scissors without slicing my hands. I think I managed, at least on that one. Okay, so. It's actually a much lighter scent than I was expecting, but. I guess it is kind of berry ish. I'm not sure if I'm consciously picking up on the orange or not. But there's definitely some forms of berry in there. It smells really good, though. So there's that one. And then this one I've been looking at since spring, but I guess they're finally doing away with it since it finally hit outlet. This one is uh, Passion Fruit and Peony. So love is in the air when you luxuriate in the pretty floral fragrance blend of passion fruit, sweet pink peony, and warm white amber. You know, I gotta pop this one open. Okay, it's a stabity again. I'm just gonna stabity all of these open. Okay, got it. And then one, two, three, up with the finger. And away it goes. I feel like somebody's probably gonna make a gif of me stabbing me. <laughs> I don't care, but um. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. It's very perfumey, and I'm sure that's because of the peonies. But you do smell the passion fruit. Not sure about the amber though, but this reminds me so much of um of an old school Calgon scent. I believe it was Serendipity. It smelled a lot like this one. It was in a blue bottle, like 
Blue Waves or something were on it. But um, but the official name was Serendipity on that one. And when I was in, like, middle school, it was my freaking favorite scent in the world. Now I'm kind of, like, over it. But at that point in my life, I was in love with it. And that reminds me a lot of it. It's not identical. It's just different enough to where I'm not, like, gagging over, oh, God, no, not again. But similar enough to where it feels like an old friend, you know? So this one is Fruity Yogurt. This could be good, this could be gross. I don't know what to expect. Indulge yourself in a sweet-smelling embrace with the notes of pomegranate, raspberry, and raw sugarcane. Nothing about that sounds bad. Let's find out. Stabby time again! It's stabby time again! Oh, that one was anticlimactic. It went a little too easily. Now I just have to get that foil off. Okay. It's all the lotion on the me so these don't rust. This is probably a really, really dangerous way of cleaning them off, but I'm just like, ah, screw it. Okay. Whoa. That does smell like yogurt, but not in a bad way. Pardon me wants to eat it because it smells like yogurt, but obviously I know you cannot do that. It's lotion, but... Huh. That's so interesting. I definitely smell yogurt. I definitely smell raspberry. I'm guessing the sweet scent that I can't quite pinpoint must be the pomegranate. That one is rather nice. Well, I guess they all have been, honestly. But, um, this one is Festive Festivities. Such an original name, am I right? So this one, this creamy body lotion moisturizes for 30 hours and leaves skin feeling velvety smooth with a lightly festive scent of cranberry and cinnamon. Open it now. Come to me, my precious. After I stab it in! Whoa, okay, I went a little too hard on that one. I got excited. <laughs> okay, I need to, like, not do that. Because now there's this big ol' hanging thing over here. I'll clean these up better later, but for right now, it's good enough. It's a whole cacophony of scents on my hands right now, but they all kind of work together, so I don't mind. That doesn't smell like much anything, honestly. I was expecting this to be really strong. I smell the cranberry. Let's, whoa, okay, that was more than I meant, but um. Yeah, I really don't smell cinnamon. I just smell the cranberry and it's a really light cranberry, so. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I was expecting more from that. I think I see why it was an outlet. <laughs> and the last one, and the last thing in this haul, is Lemon Blossom and Basil. Which, again, I've been waiting since spring for this to hit the outlet. So I don't know if they're, like, redoing the packaging for this upcoming spring and re-releasing it, or if they're just doing away with it to do new ones for the upcoming year. But, regardless, I finally have it, so I'm a happy girl. So, enjoy a sunny day feeling with the crisp scent of a sweet-smelling lemon blended with peony blossoms and fresh basil. Oh, I'm gonna love everything about this. Final stabity of the day. Okay, pop it up. Oh, didn't really work as planned, but, um... Uh, okay. Can we, like, not get it under my nails? That'd be nice. Whoa. Wow, that is unique. Whoa, not in a bad way, but... There's a very 
sunny smelling lemon, for lack of a better way of wording that, but I mean that in the best way possible. Very little peony, I think. I can't really pick up on the basil, though. Darn, I freaking love basil. I found out that's, like, one of my favorite spices that there is. But, um, but darn, I was really hoping that was going to be a more prominent figure in this scent was going to be the basil. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, that is what I got this time from Avon in this Avon haul. Uh, like I said, I kind of went nuts on Black Friday shopping because didn't pay very much. I think all of this total only came to, like, 40 bucks, so... And that was, like, free shipping, too. So, not very bad, but got quite a bit of stuff for very little money, so, yay. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. I know I sure did. So, if you like this video, go ahead and give that thumbs up. Uh, if you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell. Oh, yeah. la, 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 la. Let's try again. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you follow my social media accounts. They're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time. Bye!